Welcome back to Retake with 3 j Here with your recap from North America's Last Chance Qualifiers Finals between the Guard and 100 Thieves for the final spot at Champions Istanbul. For the first map, we saw the Guard bring in a Sage's double controller composition being brought to Icebox. However, a lack of a Sage hurt them, as 100 Thieves did well to use the wall from Seller for postman situations and a few sport times. Azuna also made a bang with his use of utility on the defense preventing them from being able to advance on multiple times. But the real story on this map was Derek, as he continued his legacy for this LCQ getting two crucial clutches against the guard, as 100 Thieves took map 1 13-7. Then on Fracture, 100 Thieves started aggressive on the defense, as Azuna's playstyle on the Neon allowed him to get 6 first bloods as if he was on the attack, giving him and the Thieves a healthy 9-3 lead at the half. Then despite losing the pistol round and an anti-eco, they managed to bounce back and win 4 of the last 5 rounds to close out Fracture with a 13-6 lead. Which brought us over to Haven, where the guard had a great start. But if you watched any of these matches, you know that does not stop the Thieves. As multiple times throughout the matches, the Thieves converted on man down scenarios, multiple eco rounds. When it seemed like the guard would be able to find their footing, the Thieves just slipped the carpet from underneath their feet. And with match point on the scoreboard, the Thieves of course did it in their own fashion, took it on an eco round. 100 Thieves took map 3, 13 to 9. The team that hit the reset button after multiple roster changes. The young roster, most doubted, would not replicate the same success as its predecessors. The team that, despite the 100 choke stroke, would end up getting the last half. 100 Thieves, we will see you on August 31st in Istanbul, Turkey.